How's it, everyone? So I got two things in the mail today that are gonna be installed on this JVJ Nano Cube. So the first thing is gonna be this True Lumen Pro LE Strip Lights Retrofit Kit, which is essentially gonna replace the fluorescent lighting that comes with this one. I've had it for two years, and now I think it's time to replace the lighting. The second thing is this air bubble skimmer. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Mame, Mamie, Mami skimmer uh, from Japan. So I have this nano tank and this nano tank. They used to be my brother brother's tank. Uh, we started about the same time. His got overran with hair algae. All the rocks were covered with hair algae, probably due to the water quality. I don't think he changed out his RODI filters as much as he should. And then the original lightings, lighting that came with this one, LED strip, pretty much uh, were going bad. It was producing a spectrum that was probably promoting the growth of the hair algae. So that's the first thing I did. I replaced it with this LED lighting. Um, you get it on Amazon. It goes by a bunch of different names. I forgot the name of this one. But it was about $59. And it works really well. Got it kind of ghetto rigged with some some of the 3D printed parts so that way it doesn't fall into the water. So I can remove this lid and it will stay suspended. So the second thing I did to this tank is I put this brief glass bubble skimmer on here, nano skimmer, and it drains out to here. And as you can see it works pretty well. So I'm kind of curious how well this is gonna work. This one costs a little bit more. I want to say the reef glass one cost me around eighty dollars, and then this one was about a hundred, hundred and ten dollars. So yeah, so both of these things are going to get installed today. I'm going to put you on a tripod and maybe fast forward through some stuff. But uh, I'm going to go through the installation of this lighting first, and then and then the skimmer. So for the skimmer, just like on this one, I'm going to have to make a cutout. I don't know how easy it is going to be on on that one. I uh, have a couple hoses coming out for the, the little chiller that I got. But I'm thinking about putting it in the back right corner. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Alright. LED dimmer, inline LED dimmer, so you get two of these, so one of these should be the blues, yeah, Actinic Pacific Blue, and then what is this one, Marine Fusion 12K White and Actinic Blue. So the reviews I read on this, it says it's, it produces a really blue lighting. And I think, I, I don't know, I'm, I guess I'll see if I like it once it's installed. So that's the first one. So I should keep it in here until I'm ready to install it. Let's see if there's instructions. Second set. Yeah. All right. So I'll just throw it in here now. Let's see what kind of tools I need to 
just all this. So this is two Lumen Pro docking mounts. Some cables. Another set of docking mounts. And it's like a power adapter. So that's gonna probably plug in there. And then it looks like some 3M tape. It's to put the lighting, attach the lighting. So we'll see how that works out. And that's it, that's all that's in the box. So I took the top off my JBJ Nano Cube. Uh, it doesn't take much. All you, all you do is just pull up and forward, and it comes right off the hinges. So taking out the screws that are holding the clear plastic piece in place. So once you have that out, you could uh, start removing the bulbs just by pressing up on the clip and pulling them straight out next you just gotta unscrew the two screws for each of these fixtures And also the screws for the for the clips that hold the other end of the fluorescent bulb. So two things in the middle. Those are the LED moonlight LEDs. So you're gonna want to loosen those as well. And once you get the remaining screws off of the reflector, it slips straight up. And then you're going to want to back out the screws from the nuts that fasten it on the other side for both the fixtures. And the moonlight LEDs. That, once that's done, you can just set the reflector to the side, and then yeah, there's one screw for the PCB and a couple screws that hold the cables in place. And then you're gonna want to remove the fans. Once they're off, it's pretty much loose from there, but you still can't back out the cables without, well in my case I just, I just cut the wires because those aren't wire nuts, they're, they're crimped. And um, taking pictures just in case for whatever reason if I ever wanted wanted to put it all back together I wanted to have some pictures of how the wiring went so I just took my multi-tool and I just started cutting the wires And then 
from there. You could push down on the little plastic pieces that hold the cable in place. And then the cables just pull straight out. So from here you're going to want to screw in using the same hardware you took off and screw in the reflector. And these lights came with two ways to mount them. Uh, one if you want to do it directly over the tank you got to use the, the brackets that are in the little purple packaging right there. Uh, but in my case I'm going to use the swivel brackets that go on the end of the LED strip lights and I found out the, the screws are really they're really loose so it doesn't tighten down on the strip light so I ended up borrowing some of the screws that that I took off when I uninstalled the the previous light fixture and it seems to fit tighter in the holes but my, my camera's gonna die but you get the gist of it screw those in and then you screw the brackets into the, the reflector well, that's about it um, so uh, we'll jump right into it being installed. Standby. So my camera died. This is what it looks like when it's installed. Let's go ahead and give it a go. So it comes with the two dimmer switches. blue one. So my initial thoughts, it's not as bright as I would hope. Hopefully it'll get brighter. I'm going to go ahead and button this up and then uh, we'll see how it looks on the tank. So this is what it looks like with the lights installed. Can't say that I'm as is as impressed as I was when I got these lights. These ones seem a lot brighter and the shimmering effect is a lot noticeable and they were a lot cheaper too. I mean this doesn't look bad I just wish it was a little brighter. So fortunately you could add another set of uh, LED strips to this so that's what I went ahead and did. I ordered the 14K diamond white. So it'll have the diamond white, the actinic blue, and then the marine fusion, which is a combo of 12K white and then a actinic blue. So hopefully it'll balance out. So the next step is installing that skimmer. Not sure exactly where I want to put it, but I think I wanted to to be in the main display like this one is I think it looks pretty cool and then you could also tell we needed to clean the limestone or the lime wood and clean the glass so I'm hoping uh, the one I installed the and this one works just as good as that one so I think that's gonna be another video Alright, later for now.